I'm going to go up to the whole short line. And I always check final. Like, see, there's a guy up there. I don't know. He's pretty high, so I don't think he's going to land, but we'll keep an eye on him. This is the whole short line. If I cross this, I'm on the active runway. All right. You all uh, right, darling? I'm good. Okay, runway heading. Start my flight timer. Turn on the transponder. Advance the throttle. Here we go. Doors are locked and down. No wind. This should be nice. Okay, I've got full throttle. I'm watching my airspeed. We're at 60 and we're about 64. Okay. How you doing? I'm good. Yeah, you have no control in the back seat. It's like surgery. So just get used to it. Okay, there is a guy overflying the field across and he's going to head the other way. So. Why would he be just circling the airport? He's practicing landings. Okay. He's, he's doing landings. He's with an instructor and that's what they're doing. There's Lake Pat. It's almost empty. Yeah. I can't believe how low it is. Yeah, it's terrible. I hate it. The grass is growing out there. You all right? Oh, I'm okay. So when your altitude shows 2,000, that's just above sea level. Right. Exactly okay. right. So sea level and uh, above ground level, they call that AGL. And so AGL were uh, our elevation here, 850 feet minus 2,000. Uh, See downtown Fort Worth off the wingtip. You see it going right out that way? Yeah. There's a ball field over there. What are you looking for? Uh, field. That, see that big red barn? I believe that's his shop oh. right there, actually. Is it really? Yeah, he's got, a, a, he's got yeah, a big red be. shop. Yeah, that's his house. See, that's all the shop, and then that's his house back there. Oh, the with pool. the fence around it? Yeah, swimming yeah. pool. Man, he's got a nice house. You Outbound to a tour to the VORD in the 17 Coast Decatur. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You want to take some pictures, Connie? Okay. Somebody has a nice lake. Well, lake yeah, they do. Right the little, little uh, kind of island. island there, yeah. There. There's, then there's a racetrack right over that way. Where? Somebody has an oval track over. Oh, they sure do. I didn't even notice that. I've never seen that before. That's right down the street from my work. Sure is. <laughs> it's amazing what, what's around there. <laughs> yeah. You can check and see all those guys that went home early after, <laughs> after you left. Most definitely. It actually looks like they're still there. Well, he's got his own shop right there that's pretty good size. Oh, wow. The red barn there? The, the smaller one? That's, yeah, yeah. right by his house. All right. I'm sorry, Connie. What did you say? Does it seem as big from up here? <laughs> <laughs> When I looked out and I saw just a big red building. Cleburne green. traffic, arrow 4653 Juliet, taking 15 left turn out, Cleburne. A woman pilot. Not this woman. <laughs> Look at the little landing strip type area right there. Look at that. You know what? You could land. I could land on that easily. Maybe somebody's building one. Yeah. Or it's just a straight racetrack. Actually, it's got fence on both sides. That's a that's for whatever they're racing. Horses. I think we've got tons of pictures. Okay. Well, let's go, uh, we'll go take a tour. Cool. Yeah, let's go, uh, that's Lake Pat. We'll go down here to Goat Neck or uh, uh, Fisherman's Paradise. Are you from around here? A little bit. Yeah. I've, I've been here for about 10 years now. Oh, yeah. You probably heard it. Anyway, it's the Brazos. We looked at a house right down the street from hers. Oh, did you? Yeah. There's a bird up there. I think, some... I think it was actually Rob's house. Oh, did you? When Rob was selling it. Yeah. Uh, it had a beautiful view. This is 916 that goes to the river. Oh, okay. The lake looks very sad. There's a junkyard down there. Yeah. It's an old one. It's been there for years. You all right back there, Connie? Yeah, I'm good. Good. Yeah, was it Ham Creek? Ham yeah, Creek, yeah. Ham Creek? Yeah. When the water's good, you, a lot of people ski up, up in this area. Water okay. ski. That was their main hangout place for a couple of years. Oh, before yeah. it dried up. Yeah. I was working in downtown Fort Worth at the time. And, but was I still working there, or had I got no, there? Oh, you were with me. Well, you did cross back over the field me. for that day. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to be too much of a drive to come all the way out here. Oh. Did you say there's a back way in? Yeah, it's off of 916. I think it's behind. I kind of lost sight of it. Uh, over there? Somewhere back there, there's a gravel road. Yeah, I think I can see it. There's like one little lone tree in the middle of the gravel road. Yeah.
That, that runs out to that back dock. Uh, the back side dock. of the lake, yeah. That boat dock on the west side. It's all dried up, though. So how many hours of uh, training do you have to do before you can... Uh, uh, the minimum is... The minimum is 40 hours. That's the lime plant right there where they... Yeah. Scrape the ground? Yeah. Wow. It's an old one. It's been there a long time. Huge. I yeah, isn't that, that amazing? Huge. You know, that may be a different operation yeah, than the other one. I don't know. Then they got another spot over there where they were taking out at one point. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'd, I'd hit uh, Comanche Peak and then head home. Oh, that's good. So what body of water is that? That's uh, Squaw, Creek, Squaw Creek Reservoir. That's the, they use those waters to cool the reactors. And then Brazos River Bridge right below us, I guess. Yep. Oh, well, cool. I met some friends. Well, I was hanging out by myself and I said, hey, you want to come hang out with us at Brazos River? So I went, and then I turned around and I left. <laughs> yeah. They were kind of creepy, so I left. Look at that house right there, Connie. It's a big house just on the trees. What, and what is that building right there? It is, uh... It's uh, it's a play, it's a theater, an outdoor yeah. theater. It's really good, we went to a couple of times. Yeah, I've been one time a long time ago. I think they closed it down though. Oh, I really? think, yeah, I think they lost their funding. Oh, okay, they're not doing and it So they're then. not going to do it anymore. This last bad. season that just finished was, was supposed one. to be the last one. Yeah. One of uh, Jordan's little friends from uh, elementary uh, was at a lot of their plays. Somebody has their own private tennis court. There's Uncle Comanche P. So is it safe to assume that all that is closed to the public? After 9-11, they closed down the lake, Squaw Creek. You couldn't fish on it. And then about a year ago, they opened it back up. Oh, wow. It's about, it's a, it's a lot warmer water, because you can see where the water comes out. It spills it out. from gross. Yeah. Yeah, that's after cooling the, uh, the reactor. So it comes out hot, and so it's a hotter lake. The whole lake's hot, and, uh, but I guess it grows big fish. I was going to say, I wonder how many weird fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's just cooling off the rods. Yeah, it looks like there's trails around it. I wonder if there's, a, like, mountain biking. Yeah, that would be cool. Over. You come check it out this summer. A plantation. A plantation? Yeah, they've got, they've got an old runway, and then they've built a new runway. Oh, really? What, what happens if you land and you don't have permission? Pick you off. Probably nothing. Take a picture and send it to the back to wave to the sky. Yeah, way to, to the sky. Yeah, my sister lives in Grand Bay. Is that the uh, personal runway? Yeah, that's the pecan plantation. Yeah, they got hangers. Oh, look, there's another one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize how many oh, trees there wow. are. Oh, wow. it's, it's still, most of it's still an orchard. Pecan plantation. That house is huge right there. You see it, Connie? Yeah, the one right there by the runway? Yeah. That's uh, big. Didn't Shelly live at Pecan Plantation, too? She, uh, yeah, I, th I think she lives on a road going into it, downtown Fort Worth. Pretty well, so so wings up 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 we are eight miles. Amazing how close it is when you're up in there. What is this right here? GoPro camera, this right here? Yeah. Camera. 4 3 is a journey 328, approaching from the south, setting up for a visual, low approach, runway 33. Medium category aircraft, any aircraft, please advise, Claiborne. I think I know who's in that airplane. 143 copies, uh, will flow to allow you to come in first. Grant Gibson. The guy said he was he was doing an approach to 33. Well, that means he's heading north. And the, wind, the way the wind is today, we need to be landing and taking off to the south. So it's a conflict. He'll cut off. He's just practicing. He'll break away. He, you see any? Yeah, Cleveland traffic. Uh, Hound 43 is setting up for RNAV runway 15 to accommodate traffic. Cleveland traffic, Cherokee November 2236 2, 2, Charlie, 1800 over Lake Pass. We'll be uh, departing the uh, traffic area to the west. Okay, he said he was over Lake Pat. That's at, what he said. At 1800. Well, I'm at 2100, so he's at just a little bit below us. Oh, see I'm just going to turn south and get out of his way. Cleveland traffic, uh, Hound 43 is uh, just off to the southeast of the airfield. Uh, we're climbing 4,500. We're staying out of the traffic pattern. Hey, there's another guy. Hey, Cleveland traffic, Skyway 6187 Juliet is on the RNAV uh, GPS runway 15 approach. Uh, 
Skyhawk 02 Victor, clear of the active on Delta. 